Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox the DeWalt Atomic Hammer Drill and Impact uh, set and we're going to unbox the Atomic Compact Reciprocating Saw. Now this is a popular item among DeWalt fans, so I, I'm excited about uh, testing this uh, in the future and see, see how it performs. So what this comes with, uh, the Atomic uh, Drill Set comes with a brushless hammer drill. Uh, brushless uh, quarter inch hex impact uh, charger and two I think it's two amp hours or two 1.5 amp hours sorry two 1.5 and uh, uh, reciprocating saw is a tool only so we are going to unbox this first alrighty so now when it comes to when it comes to these uh, Hard cases, I'm not a fan of them. I'd rather have a bag because uh, I don't. I'm not a contractor. I don't need a hard case just to toss into the into the truck and have the tools be safe. I'd rather have a bag, but it's it's okay though. But we are gonna first talk about this hard case. This hard case is extremely heavy duty. Now there are three handles on it. There's a handle right here on top and on the other side as well. And they are spring loaded, so they go back immediately. And then there is a handle on the top. So this does have uh, an air valve, which that's actually interesting. So you could lock it, uh, you could set another case on here and lock them together. Like uh, Milwaukee's pack out system. All right, so um, it says pull. All right, so you do have storage inside where you could put drill bits, screws, whatnot. You have two of them, and you have a flat surface in the middle. That's actually that's actually pretty handy. That 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 that, that real. Uh, okay, I'm gonna admit that that's this is a pretty cool case. This is a pretty cool case. I like that. I take what I said about hard cases. Th this case is awesome. This this case is really, really awesome. All right, the first thing you get is instructions. And I'm pretty sure the warranty is in there as well. All right, so these are, I think these are 1.5 amp hour batteries. Yes, wait. Yeah, 1.5 amp hour battery, 20 volt. All right, so you get two batteries. And these ones are the black ones, so these ones are not, uh, there is a difference between the yellow ones and the black ones. We are going to test that video out in the future. So yeah, we're going to test the hell out of those. All right, so then of course, oh, it's a small charger. It is actually a smaller inverted charger. So as you can see, the... Uh, the DCB-115, and this is DCB-107, so it's actually inverted. Very good, and it is a little bit smaller. It is. A little, not by much, but a little bit. And then the first thing you get, first tool. See, people hate the Atomic line, but I liked the compactness of them. That's why people get it, because they're small, they're light, you know, it's brushless. So, but we are going to test out in the future on why the, why people say that these tools suck. You know, like if you compare it to the XR line, which I have, I have the XR line and this is, wow, this is actually heavier than the three eighths. But yeah, we are going to do a versus video in the future to see what the difference is between the XR and the atomic. So that's the hammer drill, two speeds. Uh, 16 point chuck the, the, the there is uh, it's not an actual click but there is a setting to where the clutch uh, stops plastic uh, plastic chuck this is not metal this is plastic but very good I like the compactness of that I like that 
And then here we have the quarter inch hex impact atomic. It's a little lighter than the hammer drill. And of course you get two uh, belt clips. This, this seriously is a nice case. You know what, I know someone that would love to have this case. So Robert, you are getting a case, my friend. You are getting a case. And I, I thought this case was gonna be molded specifically for these tools, but they're not. It's an open case to where you can fit anything in there. And it has, like I said, it has that it has that extra space on the on the top. And it's a locking system to where you can lock it with other cases, which is awesome. This case is awesome. And it has an air valve. Yep, I know a friend that would want the want this really badly. And I'm gonna give it to him. And of course he's gonna get it before this video is even uploaded. The model number for the hammer drill is uh, DCD 709. Uh, it is a half inch chuck. Uh, uh, beats per minute is uh, 28,050. 20 volt system. Uh, the RPM is 0 to 1650. So it's not too bad. It is not too bad at all. That is my uh, that is my guy Alan. Uh, he is making stuff and breaking stuff. He does these videos. He does versus videos all the time. So go check out his channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Making stuff and breaking stuff, and I talk all the time. So we're actually friends. We're gonna meet up one day and uh, meet at a Home Depot and do uh, versus videos with each other. So check out his channel. Uh, so yeah, uh, this thing is. This thing is seriously light and compact. I, I like that. Now I did get a six amp hour battery flex. At speed one, speed two. It's good, I like that. It has an LED on the bottom. It is not, actually let's zoom out. It has an LED on the bottom. And so, uh, uh, of course, the belt clip. Actually, let's put that uh, belt clip on. That's in there, good. Fantastic. That's one. Very good. Alrighty, so I have three, a uh, two amp hour right here, ready to go. Battery is full. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison b between the XR. Now, the Atomic is actually a little bit fatter than the XR, surprisingly. It's a little bit fatter, but the it's, a, it's shorter. The XR is thinner, but longer. So this is the XR. So the, the grip is actually made, the top grip is actually a little bit different. Uh, for the rubber molding three leds in the front and this does not have the technology like this one does uh, not technology but the style all right see like i explained in a uh, previous video if you turn the lights on here if you turn it it doesn't blind people but with this one you'll still get that that uh that flare when it comes to this light because it doesn't have like a diffuser like this one does see so it's that this is, so that's actually missing from this to where this is just going to blind people but alrighty so the uh the half inch uh sorry the quarter hex impact is model number dcf887 and this produces uh Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, just like... Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one. All right, so the model number for the Atomic is DCF-809. Uh, it is a, a variable trigger only. There is no speed setting. Uh, this goes to 0 to 2,800 RPMs 
and zero to 3,200 impacts per minute. That's actually a little crazy. I do not know what the torque is. Let's see what if I can see, see the torque. You know what? Instead of looking at looking at this, I'm just gonna uh, put the uh, the torque in right now for the atomic. So yeah, this thing is awesome though. I cannot wait to do versus videos because we are gonna majorly find out in many tests on what the difference is between the XR and the Atomic when it comes to performance and power. You know, you could read specs all day, but there's only one real way to find out, and that's to do extensive amount of tests. Now, this, these tools, I, I like these tools. I, li I like the Atomic line. I like the way they look. They're small. They're compact. You know, I, I like this. I, I really do. And uh, we're going to find out what everything is in the in the future I uh, I pick up stuff like this this is a three-quarter inch uh, uh, drill bit and we are gonna like w w some of the tests I do to see uh, which company which brand will prevail on drilling as many holes as possible in the uh, shortest amount of time so I, I, I do stress tests like this so make sure you subscribe uh, 1.5 amp hour batteries need to be charged, which I'm going to put one on charge right now. That's charging right. Yes, you are. And you can't, you can't get too many batteries. It's always good to have some. But, but let's move on to the Atomic uh, hand reciprocating saw. Now this thing is awesome. I always wanted a little hand reciprocating saw, and now I got one. Because, you know, I, uh, I have a, a couple of big ones. You know, it's nice to get a small one for the s small jobs where you could use it just with one hand. Of course, that's not recommended to use one hand, but you can. This Ryobi knife is awesome. I love this thing. Alrighty, so, of course you get instructions and warranty. And it does come with a belt. Uh, it does come with a blade. Now, like I said in previous videos, when it comes to blades, I do not use any type of blade that comes with the tool. I go get Diablo blades, and I get they're better. They're just they're just better. Just put away. But we're gonna use it just for now. And the belt clip. Then that's it for the box. This thing is extremely cool. I like this. Oop, and that comes with a, a little blade as well. Uh, 18, t 18 TPI by metal. So very good. Let's see what it takes to put that in. Oh, all you do is maneuver that. Very easy. Lock that in place, and now it is in there. All right, so the model number for this is DCS369, compact reciprocating saw. Uh, it is 0 to 2800 SPM, and I'm wondering what the range is. I think it's, pro it's probably a half inch. Oh, yeah, okay, the stroke length is 5 eighths. Uh, like I said, strokes per minute, uh, tw 0 to 2800. Tool length is uh, 12 inches, 12.5 inches, and a total weight of 3.13 pounds. So this is actually, an, a, dude, this is, uh, I'm not going to lie, guys, this is awesome in my hand. This is a really cool little compact saw. It really is. And of course, you're not going to be able, you're not going to, cut much with that blade that that blade is way too short you could cut like a twig with that but that's not that's not nearly what it needs to be but this thing is cool though this thing is extremely cool but that's awesome this thing i i recommend you guys get this i i see a home depot uh people at home depot looking at this a lot and it seriously is it's worth it it's 130 bucks it's not bad at all. 
Black Friday sale, 130 bucks. These are a Black Friday sale too. I got the uh, hammer, the brushless atomic hammer drill, and the brushless quarter inch impact. Two batteries and a charger for 200 bucks. And I got this one for 130. So it's not bad. Not bad at all. I, the, this is not a part of the, the free tool deal. This is just a separate sale by itself. But it's good. It is good. So th this thing is awesome. I can't wait to test these tools out and see what they're capable of doing. And then do versus videos against all the brands that I got. In a uh, minute, I'll show you my pegboard on the variety of tools that I got. There we go. Put the battery back in. Very good. We are going to test this out in an in upcoming video. This thing is seriously awesome. Very good. Alrighty, so this is my pegboard thus far. Got the Ryobi section. Uh, got the Tech Life section. I'm waiting for more tools for that. Got Rigid. I might be able to rearrange this to get one more tool in there. I got Milwaukee, which I got some tools coming in the mail. And I got DeWalt. I got one more tool coming in the mail for DeWalt. So that's pretty much the, my pegboard situation right now. And once I uh, acquire more tools, I'm going to take the bags down. They're just a filler. So this has been the unboxing and specs of the Atomic line of the brushless hammer drill, the brushless quarter inch uh, hex impact, and the brushless... Is this brushless? Yes, it is. And the Atomic line brushless handheld reciprocating saw. Uh, it's awesome. It comes with two blades, wood and metal. Just subscribe to the channel. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.